Four years after Massachusetts legalized gambling, the state's first casino opens. The hope is that Plain Ridge Park, which cost $225 million to build, will earn a lot more than that. New Center 5's Pam Cross takes us inside. Obviously, this is a historic day for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. This first means it was also a day of opening. Two, three. And then, with a thousand people in line, those minding the doors move back. Oh, to have fun. Well, could be good and bad. <laughs> you never know. The huge casino includes gambling, racing, live entertainment. Among the restaurants, Doug Flutie's Sports Pub. It's very exciting for us as a family to have this here, have it in Massachusetts, and be a big part of this, and we'll make Massachusetts proud. The state is banking on revenue, the town already counting money and jobs. About 85% are Massachusetts residents, and we're projecting with our first year revenues that the state of Massachusetts should receive about $100 million in, in revenues. From us. The revenue clearly for the town is over $4.3 million, uh, five to 600 good paying jobs, uh, a stimulus to the economy otherwise in terms of restaurants and other spin off businesses. It's good for the economy, and hopefully, they give it back to places that need it, like education and things like that. It'd be wonderful. And maybe a little to you, huh? Yeah, a little to me. The casino picks up the price of a permanent police detail, the town not worried about extra expense. The state has set aside 15 to 20 million dollars to treat and study problem gamblers. There are drawbacks. Uh, Massachusetts, through the legislation, has created funds specifically to deal with some of the addiction to gaming. In Plainville, I'm Pam Cross, WCBB News Center 5.